Welcome to the instructional video regarding the construction of a Live Bee shipping box. These boxes are used to send samples of live bees into the University of Maryland lab and the USDA Bee Lab, where they will be analyzed for viruses. In order to construct a Live Bee shipping box, you will need the following materials. Top and bottom box templates with metal screens. These are queen shipping boxes available from Man Lake. Industrial strength hot glue gun with a wide tip, cardboard bonding glue sticks, spare cardboard, and a well ventilated workspace. We will begin with the construction of a bottom box. The bottom box can be identified by the lack of red writing on the outside of the template. To begin, place the template in front of you with the white side down. Fold the box along all creases, both perforated and non perforated. Locate the U-shaped flaps of cardboard, fold them towards the center until they are standing upright. Bring the edges of the U-shaped flaps together so that the outside corners are nearly touching. Next, locate the window opening closest to the center of the template. Use the glue gun to lightly coat all edges of this window. Be very careful when handling the glue. The industrial strength glue gun will be much harder than a normal glue gun and burns can occur quickly if you are not careful. Be sure to use enough glue to hold the box in place, but not so much that the excess glue will seep out when squeezed between two pieces of cardboard. Next, place the metal screen over the applied glue. Make sure that the screen completely covers the window, but does not cover any of the perforated lines. Using your spare cardboard, apply pressure to the screen, ensuring a strong bond with the glue. Apply glue on top of the screen creating a layer of glue on both sides of the screen. Fold the U-shaped flaps down so that the white side of the cardboard meets with the applied glue. Ensure that the gap between the two flaps is even at the top and bottom and that all edges are flush together, like so. This is very important for the bottom box. If not done correctly, it will be difficult to slide the top box onto the bottom box when complete. Next. Apply glue on the brown side of the U-shaped flaps on what will become the inside of the box. Fold the second window opening, the one closest to you, over the top of the newly applied glue. Once again, ensure that all edges are flush. Repeat this process for the other side, ensuring that the gaps are once again even and that all sides are flush. You now have a complete bottom box. Next, locate the template of the top box. The top template can be identified by the red writing on the white side of the cardboard. Repeat the process used for the bottom box, with some small differences. When folding the U-shaped flaps on top of the screen, create a larger gap between the flaps on the open side of the box, closest to you. This will create edges that are not flush together, ensuring that the top box will fit easily over the bottom box. With that, you have completed the construction of a live bee shipping box and only one final step remains. Lastly, you will want to pre-cut the outlined area on top of the box so that you can insert a funnel for the live bees. Using a box cutter or sharp knife, score three sides of the small box in the center of the top box. The three sides will allow the person sampling to fold down the resulting flap and insert a funnel for the bees to be inserted.